So now let's talk about the motion and types of motion. Let's recapitulate the definition of the motion that is if a body changes its position with respect to the reference object with respect to time then the body is said to be in motion. So here I have a straight line which represents x axis. Here this is a coordinate system which has got x and y axis and here I have three dimension coordinate system x, y and z actually z is coming towards you people like this x axis y axis and z axis this is called a coordinate system and all three axes they have angle 90 degree with respect to each other so angle between x and y y and z and x and z is 90 degree now in x axis this is 0 then we do know that this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and all are positive numbers on this side and these are negative numbers on this side now suppose there is a body which is stationary over here. For this body I am going to select the origin or 0 to be the reference object because when we talk about the state of motion and rest we need to talk about the reference object and reference object over here is selected as 0. So this is our reference object. Now, if this body moves in this direction, then the position of this O with respect to this then the position of this body with respect to this 0 is going to continuously increase because now this body is moving in a straight line along plus x axis. So the distance from this 0 is going to continuously increase. So the position of this with respect to the origin is continuously increasing and as you can see only one of these coordinate is changing. There is no y, there is no z. So only x axis is increasing. So that means since only one coordinate is changing it is said to be motion in one dimension so examples are a car moving in a straight line but in a straight road only in one direction it should not be moving in an inclined plane so car moving along purely east direction straight the path should be straight it should not be up or down right then that is an example of motion in one dimension or we can take another example suppose if this pen is falling down so the pen is falling only along y axis so only y coordinate is going to change that are the examples of the motion in one dimension but suppose there is an object over here suppose this is a fly or this is any object so this object will have two coordinate points suppose x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 and say after some time this point reaches over here and now the new coordinates are 2 and 2. So as time passes both the coordinates are simultaneously changing. So if two coordinates are changing then the body is said to be in moving in two dimension. The example a very good example that I want to discuss over here is circular motion. Suppose this is a circular track, please pardon me. Suppose this is a circular track and there is an object which goes in this direction and by default this is my x axis this is my y axis so this is going to be the origin that is 0. So right now when the body is over here it will have some finite distance along x axis but when this body reaches over here it will have two coordinates it will have y coordinate as well it is going to have x coordinate as well. When this body reaches over here it will only have y coordinate it will not have any x coordinate. When this body reaches over here again it will have y coordinate and x coordinate simultaneously. So this object performing circular motion is an example of two dimension motion.
got it guys now you can also take another example like say this is an inclined plane and a car goes along the inclined plane in the upward direction so what happens is if i select this to be the origin then as the car goes up suppose this is the new location of the car then it will have two coordinates initially it had this coordinate in x this coordinate in y but when the car reaches over here it will have another coordinates of x and y so when the car goes in along a straight line in the inclined path then also it falls under two dimension motion so here we will restrict ourselves to motion in one dimension that means a straight path east west north south in any one direction you select it so if this car is going along purely east direction that is called motion in one dimension guys now in three dimension what happens is you can select a fly that is moving anywhere in this space suppose the fly was over here so it will have some finite distance from x y and z but when the fly reaches over here it's x y and z all three quantities are changing so that means if all the three coordinates x y and z are changing then the motion of the body is referred as three dimension